Hey guys, welcome to another Marvel Show to review. This time I bring you the McFarlane Toy Cyberpunk 2077 video game, Johnny Silverhand. And at first glance, doesn't this figure look awesome? Let's get a close-up look at the likeness of Keanu Reeves. In the box, of course. Pretty cool. Comes with like one, two, three, four accessories. Awesome. Turn it to the side. It says Cyberpunk 2077. Same thing, Cyberpunk 2077, Johnny Silverhand drawn, product shot, and character called V. 22 moving parts of articulation. Logo up here, McFarlane Toys, Johnny Silverhand. And the logo, I'm guessing, of the video game, CD Project Red. Awesome. And I'd like to thank my friend Kevin Garner. Follow him on Instagram at KG the Octopus. Check out his artwork, he's a great artist amazing artist you're gonna like it so this is his johnny silverhand figure he let me borrow it so i can do this review for you guys he doesn't normally collect a lot of figures like shades and i do he has a few but not as much as we do so he let me borrow it and i like to thank him so thanks bud and enough of me talking let's take this bad boy out of the box all right guys join me here is keanu reeves i mean johnny silverhand out of the box doesn't he look amazing pretty badass looking character as you see the metal arm the vest that he's wearing pants the glasses everything pretty cool I'm loving it we'll get a closer look as we do his articulation and stuff but as i mentioned he came with four accessories but one of them connects to the guitar, as you can see. So, so technically these three, but you know what I mean? So you know what we do, we look at the accessories first and then we'll do the articulation process of Johnny Silverhand. All right guys, join me. So here are the accessories. Let's start with the smaller items. This I believe is like his vodka where he keeps his alcohol or something to drink. You know, look, look, look. You see? Where he'd be like, Put it in his hand and he takes a sip, you know. So I love the color, translucent, pretty damn cool. And then his rock out hand, you know what I mean? You can pretty much swap it out. You gotta be careful, you don't wanna break it. Swaps out pretty easy. And there, rock on. Rock on Keanu Reeves. And then his guitar. Let's take a look at his guitar. Love the black, love the stickers on it. I mean, it already comes on the damn uh, guitar, but Pretty cool, love the details. You can feel the texture, pretty cool. Pretty cool. The black paint, if I mentioned it, it's awesome. The strap, put it on him. Easy, just like that. Pretty damn awesome, right? Cool. Now, let's take a closer look at Keanu Reeves. And we'll do his articulation process. And you know what I mean, I meant Johnny Silverhand. Let's take a closer look at Johnny Silverhand. Looking like Keanu Reeves, as you can see, pretty damn awesome. Love the skin tone, the paint job is pretty damn awesome. The tattoo right there as well. His hand looks very metallic. Love the colors. Silver, the red. Rock on. The glasses, the red on the glasses is pretty cool. The vest, his dog tags, silver, just like they should be. And uh, like I said, his vest is like faded out black. Pretty cool. I love those little stickers or whatever that is. That's right there by him. Or patches probably this pants pretty damn awesome like a brown maybe kind of burgundy color pretty cool his hair though let's get a look at his hair well sculpted his logo in the back I believe it says samurai correct me if I'm wrong love the bullets for the belt pretty 
Oslo. His nautilus glass and the rest in the back of his body. Pretty damn cool. Let's turn him around again. And let's get him ready for the articulation process. Yes. So here is Johnny Silverhand. And let's begin his articulation process. He can look this much up. Hair kind of hinders it. Down, not too much. You got some head tilting. Head swiveling. Pretty damn cool, side to side. And then his arms go this much up high, as you can see, probably even a little bit higher. A little bit higher. Just turn it up, there you go. Obviously, if you turn it around more, it can go up that high, but pretty cool. So his arms do go up that high. They go all around downtown, all around downtown. Butterfly joints, pretty cool. Love me some butterfly joints. I believe this hand does not have a bicep swivel. It does have a single jointed elbow. I think it could have or should have a double jointed elbow. Would have benefited from that. And its hand does the wrist twist and it goes up and down. You just gotta be careful. You don't wanna break it, but it does go up and down. Same thing with this one. It has a bicep swivel. If I didn't mention, it does go all around downtown, double jointed elbows. And that's pretty cool. It has the wrist twist. And it goes up and down as well, up and down. And then he does have an amp crunch that goes forward that much. As you can see, back that much, like he's doing his Matrix movie. <laughs> but you could also see the inside, you know. He does have a little bit of a wrist twist right there. Wrist twist. You can't kick to the side like if he was Bruce Lee or something. You can kick this much up high to your face. So better watch out, you're gonna roundhouse you. And you can kick back like that, pretty cool. Like he's gonna low blow you or something like that. You know what I mean? Like in wrestling terms kick you in the bowels from behind and then uh, as for a thigh swivel he doesn't really have a thigh swivel this basically is the thigh swivel his knees does bend double jointed knees same thing on this one double jointed there you go and no calf swivel no calf swivel could have benefited from that as well but his feet does go up and down a little up and down a little and they do pivot pivot but it is kind of hindered by the pants a little bit but also it has toe articulation this is what i love about mcfarland toys they add that toe articulation pretty cool and you got the peg holes on the bottom not bad not bad so that was his articulation process of johnny silverhand or keanu reeves or whoever you want to call him. All right, guys, you guys know it's that time to measure up the figure. So here's the T-square. Let's measure him up, all right, guys? Let's see how tall this figure is. So as I put him on here, he stands right at about seven inches tall. Heck, a little bit taller than seven inches tall. So he's quite tall, quite tall. Let's bring him down. And here is Johnny Silverhand with another McFarlane Toys action figure from My Hero Academia, Shoto Todoroki. Obviously, Johnny Silverhand's character is an adult while Shoto Todoroki is like a teenager. So technically, Todoroki is supposed to be a little bit smaller, but hey, it is what it is. McFarlane Toys, you still rock. And here I have Johnny Silverhand with Mattel's DC Multiverse from the Flash TV series, The Flash, the world's fastest man. And as you can see, the Flash is smaller because he's more of like a six inch figure. So yeah, pretty cool. I just wanted to put the Flash because I haven't put in the Flash in a long time in a video so there you go 
And here I have Johnny Silverhand with WWE Mattel's Elite 67 Series Jeff Hardy. Now they both look like they're ready to rock out. And a WWE Elite figure does scale well with this Johnny Silverhand, so that's pretty cool. Heck, they're about the same height. And up next, I have Johnny Silverhand shoulder to shoulder with the Mayfix Joker from the Suicide Squad movie. I love this Joker. I mean, didn't love him in the movie that much. I feel like he could have had more. I didn't hate him like everybody else did, but I personally love this figure. Pretty damn awesome figure. And as you can see, Johnny Silverhand is a little bit taller than this Joker. And to compare him to a Marvel Legends action figure, here I have the Marvel Legends Black Suit Spider-Man series, the Builder figure of Sandman Wave series, Spider-Man in his black suit. And as you can see, he is smaller, shorter than Johnny Silverhand, but pretty damn awesome, both of them in their own right. Continuing with the Marvel Legends, I have Johnny Silverhand shoulder to shoulder with Marvel Legends Deadpool from the X-Men series, the Juggernaut Builder figure wave series. Damn cool, right? Don't you agree, Deadpool? Rock on with this guy. Rock on. They do look amazing together. And to compare Johnny Silverhand with the NECA figure, I have the NECA figure Hellraiser Ultimate Pinhead holding the box. Isn't that pretty cool? As you can see, this pinhead is a little bit taller than Johnny Silverhand. He probably is about seven and a half inches tall. But mostly NECA, they're about that same height, you know, from seven to eight inches tall. Depends on the figure. Looks like Johnny Silverhand is ready to rock out with this cock out with Hellraiser. They both about to raise some hell. And just for fun, I have my fun toys Johnny Silverhand with Jack Specific Mario. <laughs> Mario Ratu. I got it. I'm a rock star. All right, guys, thank you for joining me on this rockin' review of this Johnny Silverhand from Cyberpunk 2077 video game figure. It was awesome to review for you guys. And also, again, I'd like to thank Kevin for letting me borrow this figure so I can do this review. Much love, bro. So yeah, I had fun reviewing this figure for you guys. He looks amazing. I recommend you to pick him up. I think I may pick him up next time I see him. So yeah, what else can I say? Just to stay tuned for my next video, it's gonna be pretty damn cool.